In the far field of the antenna, the electromagnetic wave looks locally like a plane wave. So this means we can calculate the power flow away from the antenna using the time average power density equation for a plane wave that we came up with in the wave propagation section of this course. Now in our case, it's convenient to put the antenna at the origin of our coordinate system. So here, the power is radi propagating radially away from our antenna in the r hat direction. So I'm going to change this here to an r hat and we'll have s in general can have have a phi be a function of phi, theta and r. And also we're considering an antenna in air. So I'm going to put here the electric field squared over 2 eta naught. And the rest of this alpha is 0 and we're not going to have a complex impedance. So we only need to plug in the magnitude of the far electric field expression here, the magnitude into this equation for s. So if we do that, we're going to get r hat k eta naught i naught l sine theta and all that squared over 8 pi r squared and here's the rest of the denominator to eta naught. So this is a phase term so I left that out and also the magnitude of j is 1. Let's simplify this expression. We can write k is equal to 2 pi over lambda, that's this k right here, and then one of uh, the eta naughts is going to cancel this eta naught right here, one of them because it's squared. So I will take that one out and we'll put one out in front so it's not squared anymore. And then a denominator we have 8 squared times 2 which is 128. Um, then we can cancel the pi squared with the pi that we're going to get here and we can multiply, uh, we can plug in for eta naught, we're going to have 377 and all in all if you put all this together we're going to get r hat 11.78 i naught l over r lambda squared sine squared theta. So now we have an expression for the time average power density flowing away from the short dipole antenna. And this works in any direction from the antenna. We can see that the direction of power flow is in the r hat direction. And the power density is a function of r as it spreads out over a bigger and bigger sphere uh, with distance from the antenna. <coughs> and theta, which is measured from the dipole axis. So theta would be measured from this direction. It would be helpful to be able to plot this power density so that we can get a feel for the direction in which the power goes. In this case we don't need to particularly care about the exact amplitude that is radiated in each direction. We can always get that the amplitude by solving this equation right here. Instead it's convenient in the plot to just plot the normalized power density which we'll call the normalized radiation intensity F. F is going to be equal to S over S max. So it's dimensionless. Derm determine what F is for our short dipole antenna and then also plot F so we can get a feel for how the short dipole radiates in each direction away from the antenna.